All right, let's start out with my warlock. He's named Tully. Why? Well, Ferdinand was taken. World of Warcraft doesn't dawdle. From the beginning, the quest proved to be bountiful. See, anyone with an exclamation mark over their head, well, they can't take care of themselves. The quest also has shown a good deal of variety from delivering items I'm overburdened. to having to sever someone's head as proof of their execution. Combat is a fast-paced and frequent affair. It's also really easy to do. You can store your favorite attacks on this bar. Just select an object at your contempt, and then your death-giving technique, voila! You'll find yourself performing attacks faster than you think, but this isn't some wild point-and-click fest. You really need to use strategy through attacks that cause residual damage or inhibit your enemy's ability to attack you. Tully's restricted both by the need for some attacks to recharge and the need to replenish the magic juice it expends. It all seems balanced just right to keep things frenetic. Now, Tully here is not too quick with melee attacks, so I'm going to hide behind my avatar of an older blonde thinning hair type to make a friend. And things become much, much easier to handle once you party up. There's a lot of danger to be found in Azeroth. Why not spread the risk? But that's not to say you can't enjoy yourself all by yourself. This is Doofer. He's a dwarf. What? Timney was taken. He's a warrior and can handle himself pretty well in sword on creature action. He's quite the opposite of the warlock. Instead of good old mana regulating his attacks, he has rage. We need more rage. Thanks, Doofer. The rage builds during combat and opens up some nasty little eviscerating maneuvers. I love that sound. Like ripe cantaloupe. What's most surprising is how much time I like to spend just exploring in World of Warcraft. The game is a visual treat. While it is a fantasy setting, the stylized art and character design give it considerably more character than your typical Frank Frazetta cavalcade of stars. In addition, you're not stuck beating up on tiny creatures for hours before it gets fun. I was walloping an abominable snowman in my first sitting. Need more range. Target is out of range. What's most impressive is that this is only the beta test. The game is already showing more polish than most completed games. I cannot wait to get my gnome on when World of Warcraft released. Have enough rage.